things like the Martin Luther King protest and the Gandhi's passive resistance that appear to have had very positive outcomes in society. And the beauty of passive resistance is that you're stating your case without violence. Now, the only problem with passive resistance is passive resistance needs to come from the heart, not from the action. So not just from the action. So if we could get a whole group of very angry people together, educate them or into intellectually passively resisting something, and they can go and passively resist it and maybe even accomplish something out of that. But if the passive resistance doesn't come from their heart, they are still damaging the situation. Does that make sense? Remember, every single discussion I've ever had with you, we've talked about the soul. Remember, it's the soul that is the real you. So if inside of my soul, I have anger towards something external to me, but I make out it's not there and I act differently to that anger, that doesn't change the fact that this projection of emotion is coming from me to the universe. Can you see that? It doesn't change that. To actually truly change on the divine path, this anger that exists within me needs to be eradicated. The only way to eradicate it is going to be to feel it firstly, then to dig deeper under it to find what the cause is under it and to feel that. And when I feel that and release that, that anger will no longer exist inside of me. That's when I have the most power in a passive resistive type thing in terms of changing the world. Because there is no anger in me generating it. And in fact, the irony is in that point, you won't even need to have passive resistance because your own soul condition will be in such a place of love that everything around you will just be attracted to that and change will happen automatically in a positive way rather than in a resistive way. Does that make sense? Yeah. So while those methods make a lot of sense on the natural love path, they don't make much sense when you're on the divine love path. On the divine love path, remember, the focus is change yourself at the heart level first. Change yourself at the heart level first. Everything around you will change once you start doing that. Everything around you. And it will be so rapid, you'll notice it on a daily basis, just change is happening. When I was away with you over on Stradbroke Island, you saw me go through quite a lot of emotions. In fact, I think pretty much every day I was up in the room at some point crying for some reason, whatever it was. You saw me work through an emotion of, uh, with regard to money and, and the world's financial situation. And that took me a few hours to process. And instantly after that, my law of attraction regarding money instantly changed. After that. That's what happens with any time you make a change at the soul level, you have an instant reflection in the changes. Every single time. If, if you haven't had an instant change, then you haven't dealt with the causal emotion. Because as soon as the way God made the universe is the instant you deal with the causal emotion, the instant a change will happen in your life. So if that's the case, then this passive resistance, which is a slow, drawn-out opposition sort of thing, would never even need to occur. And imagine if every single one of us changed our attitude towards money right now. Like we dealt with the emotion, which in my case meant crying for quite a few days. So it might not be right now, it might be three days that I've finished dealing with it. But if everyone here did it, imagine the change that would occur just for all of our lives. There would just be huge changes in our life. We'd no longer value money like we value it. At the moment, many of us still value money above almost everything else. Right? And we would no longer do that. Right? We would no longer be in these states where we're needy for funds. And ironically, that's the time when everything would just start coming to us. Because we've got lots of opposition to that occurring in the soul. So you imagine that multiplied by every issue here every issue we're facing, we all just dealt with it at the causal level, then there's no need for us to go out and protest something, because we've just dealt with everything inside of us at the causal level. Something I said in the way of the heart is just to make sure that you change your heart. That's why it's called the way of the heart. Right? It's not the way of the head. It's not the way of the mind. Right? It's the way of the heart, because this is the truth that we all need to come to face. The fact is, 
that every single thing inside of our lives and every single thing in our environment is my own creation. And I can release an emotion and create something totally different. And I can also exercise desire in a loving way and create something totally different too.